Now we pray to the Lord, not only for Teddy, but for all of us he leaves behind. Among his brothers and sisters, he was the youngest. So now his grandchildren, his younger nieces and nephews, and the youngest child of one of his nieces will offer the intercessions. Each time, please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Teddy served for 47 years, and he summoned us all to service. And so these intercessions are in his words, for the work of his life is our prayer for our country and our world. First up is Kylie Kennedy, 15 years old, daughter of Ted Jr. For my grandfather's commitment and persistence, not to out outworn values, but to old values that will never wear out. That the poor may be out of political fashion, but they are never without human need. That circumstances may change, but the work of compassion must continue. We pray to the Lord. Grace Kennedy Allen, Kara's oldest child. For my grandpa summons, that we will not, in our nation, measure human beings by what they cannot do, but instead value them for what they can do. We pray to the Lord. Max Allen, Cara's other child. For what my grandpa called the cause of his life, as he said so often, in every part of this land, that every American will have decent quality health care as a fundamental right and not a privilege. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Jack Schlossberg, Caroline Kennedy Schlossberg's For a new child. season of hope that my Uncle Teddy envisioned, where we rise to our best ideals and close the book on the old politics of race and gender, group against group and straight against gay, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Robin Lawford, the daughter of Pat Kennedy. For my Uncle Teddy's call to keep the promise that all men and women who live here, even strangers and newcomers, can rise no matter what their color, no matter what their place of birth. For workers out of work, students without tuition, for college, and families without the chance to own a home. For all Americans seeking a better life and a better land. For all those left out or left behind, we pray to the Lord. Kim Smith, the adopted daughter of Jean Kennedy Smith. For my uncle's stand against violence, hate, and war, and his belief that peace can be kept through the triumph of justice, and the truest justice can come only through the works of peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Anthony Shriver, the son of Eunice Kennedy Shriver. As my uncle Teddy once told thousands and millions, may it be said of us in dark passages and bright days, and the words of Tennyson, that my brothers quoted and loved and that have a special meaning for us now. I am part of all that I have met. Though much is taken, much abides. That which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, strong in will, to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Rory Kennedy, the youngest daughter of Robert Kennedy. For the joy of my Uncle Teddy's laughter, the light of his presence, his rare and noble contributions to the human spirit, for his faith that in heaven his father and mother, his brothers and sisters, and all who went before him will welcome him home. And for all the times to come when the rest of us will think of him cuddling affectionately on the boat, surrounded by family as we sailed in the Nantucket Sound. We pray to the Lord. And Teddy Kennedy II, the youngest grandchild of Senator Edward Kennedy. For my grandfather's brave promise last summer that the work begins anew, the hope rises again, and the dream lives on. We pray to the Lord. 